In this demo and the subsequent videos, I'd like to show you an end-to-end -end order to cash process. We start with the incoming sales order from the customer, followed by the delivery, the invoice, and finally the payment. In order to create a sales order in SAP Business One, there are many options. First, you could place a sales order into the widget for common functions as a shortcut, or you could just click on the respective icon within the sales process widget, or you could use the menu on the left to select sales order. In the sales order creation screen, you can now enter the customer number, in this case, MaxiTech. The system can now immediately check the available credit limit of the customer and provide a warning if the credit limit has been exceeded. Next, I can enter the requested delivery date, the product the customer wants to buy, and the quantity. The system will automatically perform an availability check. If the item is not available for the required quantity at the requested date, then the system will give you a warning message. You can also have a look at the Available to Promise report to get the details on how many items of the product will be available at any point in time. Here, you can see your current inventory, committed quantities for customer sales orders, as well as expected incoming quantities based on your purchase orders. This Available to Promise feature of SAP Business One allows you to only commit those quantities to your customer that you are sure will have available at the time of the customer delivery. You don't overpromise items you then can't deliver, providing accurate and real-time availability information to your salespeople, and you increase customer satisfaction. When you save the sales order, the system will once again warn us of the credit risk of this customer who has already exceeded his credit limit. In this case, we will acknowledge this warning and continue to save the sales order.